Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, I thought I'd just talk about how I service and maintain my sort of higher mileage Volvo S80. Now this is the D5, the 205 horsepower twin turbo, later D5. And um, this one's been breathed on by Polestar, so it's around 240 brake horsepower now, um, with a few little bits on as well. And um, it's now hit 130,000 miles, which, by probably your standards as Volvo owners, isn't that many miles. But for the for the rest of the people out there, cars over a hundred thousand miles drop in value massively. Um, and I really, for the life of me, haven't been able to work out why. I think I've got one vehicle that is under a hundred thousand miles, and um, it probably drives the least well out of all of them. Um, hundred thousand hundred thousand miles is nothing for a car nowadays, and um, you know, I think this car could probably do two three hundred thousand miles maybe even four hundred thousand miles um i'd like to hopefully get it to that at one point so i've invented my own little um service schedule as it were um i'm sure some of you guys might already know this following the channel but um i thought i'd go over it today show you everything that i do when i do it etc and um yeah give you sort of a an idiot's guide or a, a volvo owner's guide on how to make sure your volvo last and how to maintain and sort of service it so um let's get straight into it so i've had this car knit well three and a half years i've done around fifty thousand miles in it and um no sixty thousand miles actually um so i've been for a fair few intervals so far um and yeah so that's just wanted to give you my overall thing that i do so oil is changed every around five thousand miles um no more than seven and a half thousand no more frequently than three and a half thousand um around five thousand miles my optimum uh, depending on whether i've got free money hanging around or not um i try and keep it as close to five thousand as i can um that's oil and filter with high quality castrol edge oil um as per the volvo spec here and with a oem filter um just to keep it sort of running as best it can next is coolant i change that um about twenty thousand miles ago i will change that every thirty thousand miles just to keep it um fresh um it's still a good color at the moment but you know i just like to keep it it stops things building up on the water pump for example um through the cooling jackets if you flush it out keep it fresh you don't have to but it it stops these build-ups of these um, deposits, uh, which obviously we all want to do to make our cars longer. Now, for those of you that can ask about the oil change intervals, why they're so much shorter than Volvo's, um, Volvo claim that you can do 18,000 miles between services on this, um, but that leads to a lot of carbon build-up. And just like the coolant, if you clear that out, um, it will prevent build-up of carbon, etc., within the engine. So, um, just keeping the engine clean, basically, flushing everything out um, is the way to do it. Air filter, I like to try and change every 10,000 miles. This has had, yeah, it's had five air filters. It's probably due another one soon. Um, and that's, again, just to allow the car to breathe. Um, I live in a very rural area, so there's a lot of dust um, and pollen and all of that sort of stuff. So within a few months that is that filters wrecked um so during in cities or cleaner environments less rural environments you probably won't have to change it as frequently but i just like to make sure the car can breathe as well as possible um just just because that's that's how i like to to treat my cars um power steering fluid now this is something i haven't done and i need to do it um it's it's as you can see it's getting quite dark should be sort of a a goldy color um so i really need to get that done and i'm trying to i should have done that at fifty thousand miles every fifty thousand miles because i get through mileage pretty quick most people around thirty thousand miles just to remove it you can remove it with a, a pipette um refill it cycle the pump and uh, that will be good to go so again just preserves your power steering pump for longer cleans all the rubbish out of it it just keeps everything clean inside. That is the aim of the game. With these high mileage cars, they tend not to break down because of parts failing or wearing, but more because things get clogged up and put extra wear on things. So making sure that your car is running cleanly um, is nice 
um, is a big thing. And it's the same with premium fuel. Now, this obviously causes a lot of argument on the internet, but premium fuels do burn cleaner and therefore will reduce the amount of crap that builds up in your engine. So, um, yeah, just, just, just another thing to bear in mind. Now, transmission fluid, this has already been done. It was last done at 79,000 on this car. Um, so at 60,000 miles later, or 50,000 miles later, it needs to be done again. And um, that's coming up soon. So I need to change that. And that, and again, is to just keep everything running cleanly, clear all the crap out of it um, and try and get it um, to run nice and cleanly. And that's how you make these gearboxes last. They're very reliable as long as you're changing the fluid regularly. Um, cam belts, they need to be done 90,000 miles max um or every nine years that's according to volvo it did used to be 105,000 miles when they first brought these out they've dropped that now because a few few of the belts are breaking and when you do that you should also be doing the auxiliary belt and you should try and change the auxiliary belt twice in every cam belt cycle if that makes sense um the auxiliary belt can break and take out the, the uh, cam belt so uh, you really don't want that to be happening um but yeah Overall, this car has been fantastic and I do absolutely love it. One more thing to consider is the fuel filter that's located underneath at the rear. That should be changed every 30,000 miles as well. Um, just again to keep the fuel system clean, um, to make sure that your engine is having sort of clean, high quality fuel delivered to it um, so it can run. So, um, yeah. That is all. Let me know if I've forgotten anything. Um, cabin filter as well. I like to change every sort of 20,000 miles because I'm in such a dusty, pollenous area. Um, but yeah, that is all. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video.